Hey there, this is Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. Sounds like this. There's basically three parts in a solo. Basically, the first part is... <laughs> Second parts, second two parts is and then later on. And the third part is Oops. So the first part is very easy. They're all they're all power chords, okay? So you're basically going to go put your, you're going to do a power chord on the first fret of the E string. You're going to do an F, basically. So you're going to do the F power chord. You're going to, just going to move it down one string. So you're doing the, it's a B flat. Yeah, so this is the second one. And you're just strumming it like. So you're doing a lot of. And that's the, something, you know, as a beginner, beginner guitar player, you can learn how to do this. It's kind of cool. And just all I'm doing is I'm putting my fingers on the chord, and then I'm muting the rest of the strings. And I'm not even pushing, I'm not pushing the chord all the way down. I'm just kind of muffling it. I'm sorry, the G sharp, G sharp uh, power chord, which is starting on the you know basically the fifth, fourth fret of the E string. You, your, your, you know, you put your pointer finger across the strings and you play the. Um, it's hard to count, but it's not in the middle. Sixth, the sixth fret of the the A and D string. <laughs> First chord, just in case you're wondering, is you put the, your put your your pointer finger over the first first fret of the E and, and a couple other uh, really most of the chords, most of the strings I meant, and then you put your um, ring finger and your pinky finger over the third fret of the A and D strings. And you're basically just hitting the three chords up, three strings. You don't have to you don't have to do all. Of them. I just I just put my my. Pointer finger over all the strings just because I'm used to it. You're just playing the first three chords, first or three strings. So anyway, so so the second chord is you know you put your first you put your pointer finger over the, the first fret of the A string and you put your ring finger and pinky finger over the third on the third fret of the D and G strings. <laughs> the whole power chord up to the fourth fret of the E string. And then you put, you just move it up the next string, just like you did the first time. So you start the chord on the fifth, fourth fret of the A string. You know, and in fact, in fact, this is probably the better way to play it. You can just do the, the literal power chord. And all that's doing is, okay, so you first you put your first your pointer finger on the first fret of the E string and your ring finger on the third fret of the A string. That's the first chord. Second chord would be first put your pointer finger on the first fret of the A string and your ring finger on the third fret of the D string. The fourth chord, third chord will be put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the E string and your ring finger on the fifth fret of the A string. And then you put your pointer finger on the, so the fourth chord is put your pinker, pointer finger on the fourth fret of the E string, and then on the sixth fret of the A string. No, sorry, put your, sorry, scratch that. You put your, your, 
the fourth chord, you put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the A string and your ring finger on the sixth fret of the D string. <laughs> I play it like this, but he might just do it like this. So. Either way, either way. So here's the way I do it. I'm doing on, the, on those chords again. I'm just adding the. I'm just adding the, um, my my pinky to the same fret of the of the string below it on, on all four chords. All right. So anyway, so that's the first part. Okay. Second part. Take your um, your birdie finger, put it on the fifth fret of the G string, and then put your ring finger on the sixth fret of the B string. And you just you pick you pick the, uh, the the G string first, and then you pick it down, and then you pull, pick up on the the sixth fret of the B string. So the, you're, you're in the background, you're, the the bass is going. You do that about uh, you do that halfway through, it, and then as the as the drums pick up a little bit, you go same thing, same strings. You just you strum it like this instead, of, pick it like this instead. Of. So you got you got to listen you got to listen to the song to see how it goes. But that's just that's how you do it. And once you listen to it, you'll be able to figure that out. Then it goes back to the chorus. Oh, then it goes back to the main part. <laughs> And then after that it goes, and all that is a bar chord on the F, and you can do it with your pointer finger on the, on the first, fret, first fret of the E string, and the third fret, you can put your ring finger on the third fret of the A string, strum that twice, take your pointer finger off the low E and strum it again, and then put your finger back, back on it, your pointer finger back on the first fret. Slide it up to the second fret, where your pointer finger is on the second fret of the E, and your your ring finger is on the fourth fret of the A. And then you do a um, the, the C, which is uh, you put your pointer finger on the third fret of the A string, and you, and you put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the D string. And then you go, then you go down to the first, you put your pointer finger on the first fret of the A string, and then your ring finger on the third fret of the D string. And then you close out on the. Second fret of the E string, your pointer finger on the second fret of the E string, and your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string. And again, I, you can do that with two, just the two strings, or you can do it like, like, like I do it like this with, with a three chord, three 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 string chord. Back to the, and then it goes to solo, which is. doing is I go to the uh, put your pointer finger on the, the, the G of the the fifth fret of the G string and this is just the how I do it there's different ways you can do it but I do it like this because it's easy for me to remember otherwise I get kind of confused so you start on the fifth fret of the G string and then you go to slide it up to the six seven eight eighth fret of the G string and then to the tenth fret of the G string and then you pick the the 
sixth fret of the D string. And then you go to the sixth, seventh, eighth fret of the G string and bend it. You, you, put, you, you pick it once without bending it, and then you pick it, then you bend it. And then you pick the sixth fret of the D, of the G string. And then the fifth fret of the G string. And then you pick the again you go back right back to the sixth fret of the G string again. And back to the, the fifth fret of the G string. Go down to the third fret of the G string. Pick the sixth fret of the D string. Back to the third fret of the G string, and then back to the fifth fret of the G string, and back down to the third fret of the G string, back down to the sixth fret of the D string, and then you just go, which is going from the sixth fret of the D string to the fifth fret of the D string over and over again, and finally to the third fret of the D string. slowly. That's the first time. Second time it goes. So there you go, there's the three parts, you know, it's got <laughs> Then you got the Can you see it? Then you got the That is it. So uh, there you go. That's the song. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, that would that would be great for me, and it would be great for you because you, we get notifications. If you hit the little bell, you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video, and that should be at least one one guitar lesson a week. And so, thank you so much for watching. Have a great.